Hello everybody, so today I will introduce a new game to you and uh, this game is called Majesty and uh, this is actually the first version of this game and uh, as you can see in the beginning it asks you to select the name and uh, it goes to the quest page so I think the most interesting part about this game is uh, all the different kinds of quests um, there is a there is a beginner quest and uh, there is also advanced quest and there is also expert quest and as you can see the quests with a uh, question mark is uh, is not uh, unlocked yet you have to complete some prerequisites in order to uh, unlock this quest and uh, for this expert quest, you can uh, complete it in the beginning. So uh, I will just uh, start with uh, introducing the basic aspects of this game. So I'm going to uh, complete the beginner quest of the Wizard's Curse, which is the most standard beginner quest. Okay, I humbly beg for I your humbly forgiveness, beg for this, for your forgiveness of, of this rude intrusion, but there's an angry wizard. Toad. Okay, Sovereign, with all the blah blah blah. Words with you. So basically, the angry rule. wizard is is very um, is trying to destroy your kingdom, and you have um, two different ways to get rid of the curse because a hooligan in your kingdom has stolen the wizard's uh, tools so the wizard is very mad right now and the method one to complete the quest is to arrest the hooligan who stole the book of spells return it to the wizard and then perform whatever the wizard deems sufficient good deeds and method two is destroy the angry wizard and uh, plus your heroes are cursed so they won't act like their regular selves uh, Wizards, guilds, and temples to Fervus, Crypta, Agrilla, Chrome, or Doros aren't available in this quest. So this would make the quest more difficult to complete because you have all these uh, restrictions in place. Especially uh, you cannot build all those temples which will allow you to recruit powerful heroes. Uh, in my opinion, I think um, for beginners, we'll just go with method one because uh, if you want to kill the angry wizard, it's rather hard. So let's start the quest. So um, in order to guide your king into prosperity and shed to wizard's curse, you have two options. Either find the idiot hooligan who stole the wizard's book and then perform what the wizard deeds or confront the wizard and destroy him. Send heroes to arrest all of the realm's hooligans so they can be searched and detained at the palace. So basically, you have to um, recruit heroes because those heroes will help you to uh, reach your goal. And uh, you also need heroes to even considering upgrading your palace. But in the beginning, we're going to build a marketplace because this is like a money generator for us because without the marketplace, uh, your tax income would be very low. Only with the marketplace and all the other buildings can you earn money faster. I think the most uh, beautiful part about this game and what it differs from any other strat strategy games is that um, in this game, your heroes will act on themselves. So basically, you don't get to um, control the actions of your heroes directly. They have their own mindsets, they have their own actions, and they will act accordingly. Sovereign, your marketplace now but on the better. other side, you could use some methods to influence their behaviors or actions. So this is something worth noting, because you're going to act as the king Sovereign, of this kingdom. And uh, basically, basically, as a king, you have to decide where to put buildings and uh, 
how to influence your heroes to act、uh, according to your wishes. For example, we have recruited one rogue, and you can see that only the central, only the central part of this map is、uh, visible, and all the other parts are invisible. So you need to have your heroes explore the map, but they are not going to explore the map for you. Voluntarily, of course, you have to put in some kind of incentive for them. So, if we just double click on an invisible part of the map, and you and they will see a reward explorer flag, and you can place、uh, maybe two hundred or three hundred dollars, and then you will just wait for your heroes to、uh, come to this point in the map, because once they come to this point, they will get the three hundred dollars incentive. Okay, so there is already one rogue going for it, and also we are going to build a、uh, build a trading post because this will allow you to have、um, extra income. So we're going to build the trading post here. Actually,、um, let's build it like somewhere else because I I. I think like building it far away and、uh, beside a monster is too dangerous. You see, this、uh, rogue is actually fleeing in terror because there is a monster standing right beside this ruined keep, and this monster is a really powerful one. It's called Damon Wood, so it could easily kill your rogue in just the one hit. So we're gonna keep upgrading our marketplace in order to make more money. And、then we're gonna re recruit a warrior. Of course, we're gonna keep recruiting rogues. So in the rogues guild, you can activate the function of extort. Extort basically allows you to、uh, collect taxes immediately, but you have to give a cut of the taxes to the、uh, to the rogues guild. So basically, it allows you to obtain your taxes immediately if you're that urgent in cash. Um, but you have to give like forty or fifty percent to the rogues guild. So we're going to build a blacksmith. So I think for the extort function, only use it when、um, you know when it's absolutely necessary. Like when you're very short of cash. Okay, I think this rogue is going to die, because the because obviously like. Like this、uh, skeleton is very hard to kill because its dodging power is so strong, and it only has two hit points. So I don't know. Okay, it just died, as expected. So、uh, if you want to like、uh, lure your heroes to、uh, kill a certain monster for you, you can actually place an attack reward flag. For example, if I place an attack flag on the Damon Wood, the heroes will likely to come and hunt for this monster. Although it's gonna be very hard to complete if、um, if your hero's level is low, but if you put like an attack flag on a Hell Bear, which is way more、uh, weaker than the Damon Wood, then your heroes are likely going to complete the quest. You see, the the rogue is is nothing compared to a Damon Wood. It's very hard. So we're gonna have to keep recruiting the rogues, and also research a level two weapon and level two armor. But they're good against the Hell Bear because the Hell Bear doesn't have a very strong、uh, dodging power. Okay, two rogues are attacking the Damon Wood. Maybe they have a chance, but. Okay, you can see that our heroes just got downgraded from level five to level three. And why did that happen? It's because the the mad wizard is、um, is influencing your heroes in a negative way. So that's I think that's the difficult part about this、uh, mission, except especially for beginners, because.、Uh, Usually, your heroes will grow stronger and stronger, but in this quest, they will actually become weaker 
due to the influence of um, due to the influence of the of the mad wizard. So that's why I said uh, the two methods to complete this task, especially the second method, is going to be very hard. So from time to time, your trading post is going to uh, uh, bring you tax income uh, by the form of a caravan. But the caravan has to physically travel to your palace in order to give you that income. So as you can see, the monsters are trying to destroy the caravan. And uh, your main income source is your tax collector. Your tax collector will keep going to different uh, places to collect taxes. The highest uh, tax, uh, taxable place is, of course, the marketplace, as it generates the most income. So after you have finished the researching level 2 armor and the level 2 weapon, you can upgrade your blacksmith, which will allow you to research level 3 armor and level 3 weapon. So uh, right now we're going to build a yin. A yin is like a how do I say how do I call it? It's like a small marketplace because your heroes are going to come to the inn and uh, spend money, and then you can make money. So those money are going to come back to your kingdom as tax, and as you can see, there are lots of treasure chests on the map. Those treasure chests, you cannot uh, collect those treasure chests directly. They have to be collected by your heroes. And after your heroes collect the treasure chests, they will spend the money they earned in different places, such as in the blacksmith, in the marketplace, or somewhere else. And then you can get those money back as taxes. So those monsters like to target the marketplace so it's best to place a guard house beside the marketplace so in case that your your heroes are not defending your kingdom then the guard house will do the job so let's research a teleportation amulets and these peasants are your main uh, builders. Of course, you can build the, you, you can build gnome huvo because with a gnome huvo, you can recruit gnomes. But I don't think it's necessary to build that in this quest. Gnomes are faster builders than the peasants, and they are also considered heroes. But uh, something worth noting is that the gnomes the gnomes do not count toward uh, the number of heroes required to upgrade your palace. In order to upgrade your palace to level 2, you need 4 heroes, other than gnomes. And in order to upgrade your palace to level 3, I think you need 16 heroes, I think. 12 or 16, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, I guess we'll ha we'll, we'll get, we can only find out if we upgrade our palace to level 2. But I, but I don't think it's necessary to upgrade your palace to level two in this case. Okay, let's just uh, let's just do that anyways to see uh, how many heroes you need to upgrade your palace to level three. Okay, you can see that there is a rat man. The rat man steals money from your marketplace, so you have to watch out that. And uh, it only has it only has you only had two gold after the rat man finished his uh, theft. And of course, because the money is uh, in the rat man's pocket, so as you can see, the warriors gained about 300 gold by killing the rat man, which is, uh, which is very unusual uh, for the reward for killing a monster. But since that rat man had stolen from our kingdom before it got killed, that's why the reward that the heroes gained for killing the rat man is bigger. Okay, so we have upgraded our palace to level two, and uh, we need oh okay, we need twelve heroes to upgrade it to level 
level three. And of course, gnomes don't count toward the 12 heroes. Okay, so you can see our hero is being badly influenced by the wizard. Its actions are being targeted and uh, its level just got down by one. So that's the difficult part about this uh, mission. So we're going to place an explore flag here because the further away you place the explore flag, the more space your heroes are going to explore for you. So we're going to place explore flag of $500 each uh, on the four corners of the map. Of course, we already explored the uh, the bottom right corner. <coughs> okay, so this warrior just killed a hell bear. You see, even though I put a three hundred dollar attack flag on the demon wood, but no heroes has come to try to gain the reward. This warrior is actually fleeing in terror because he's too afraid of the demon wood and the zombie nearby and also it only has less than half of the hp so um, it's going to be very dangerous for them and i think that's what's most interesting about this game is because your heroes will have rational judgments and they will make decisions uh, based on their own judgments it's, uh, it's unlike any other strategy games where you can just uh, give orders to all your heroes Okay, so this is the wizard's guild that belongs to another monarch, and the angry wizard is actually uh, in this guild, and his level is level 20, so it's going to be really, really hard for you to kill the angry wizard. And this ratman is trying to destroy our kingdom by attacking the civilian houses. And there is also a harpy attacking the marketplace. So we're going to upgrade the guard house to level two. Maybe we can try to kill the wizard, you know. Okay, so our heroes are arresting the hooligans. Okay, there is a ruined altar. You have to destroy that. So basically, you place an attack flag here. Okay, let's put, make it 500. Different heroes have different uh, mentalities. So rogues are more likely to be lured by a reward flag for a less amount. But warriors, they only go for the reward flags if the amount satisfies them. So that's the difference between um, rogues and warriors, and also some other heroes. Some heroes, they will not be uh, lured by your reward flag unless the amount is, um, is very high. I think rogues in this case... Uh, are the most easy group of heroes that could be attracted by your reward flags. So even if you just offer 100 or 200, they will go for it eventually. Because they're rogues after all, they like to commit thefts. So 100 or 200, I think it's gonna be fine for them just to test it out. Like I place a reward flag of 100 and see if rogues go for it. So since nobody is here, we can use the market day function, which is uh, basically saying that it brings about sudden cash revenue, but the marketplace shuts down for a duration. Okay, since nobody's here anyway, so why, why not just uh, activate that function? Okay, you can see, oh, there's actually a warrior going for the $100 reward flag. Okay, so I guess I was wrong about uh, rogues getting rogues being easier to attract but um, yeah so the blacksmith has been fully upgraded and you can research the level 4 weapon and the level 4 armor which is going to be very very effective when you want to make your heroes stronger because your heroes are going to uh, come to the blacksmith 
and upgrade their weapons or armors. So on the one side, your heroes will grow stronger. On the other side, they will actually bring you more income. So it's a win-win situation. Okay, so we have finished. Uh, oh, building needs to be repaired first. Okay, so we cannot even upgrade that. Let's place two hundred dollar on this uh, on this fat man and recruit a warrior. Maybe we need to. We can recruit. We can actually build elf, elf bungalow. That's weird. I thought only level three kingdom can build that. Recruits elves double the amount of gold generated by your marketplace, and elf long will be soon built in any settlement containing an elven bungalow. Prone to self indulgence, elves require lavish dwelling. When they settle in any kingdom, bright blue shingles are a characteristic of all elf structures. Okay, so um, well, I guess you can build elves bungalow when you are only level two. You you have arrested every hooligan in the land except one. The other hooligans have confessed to his whereabouts. Unfortunately, he has learned some spells from the spell book, and is not likely to return it without a fight. Okay, so there is one last uh hooligan which is right here because he has learned some spells from the magic book that he stole from the wizard. Okay, so they just killed the hooligan and. Uh, the magic spell was obtained by the warrior, so this warrior can actually use some uh, magic now. Now that you have recovered his spell book, the wizard who cursed your kingdom demands that you perform adequate good deeds in order to atone for your citizens' blunders. There is a peasant who has been taken captive by a few crazed werewolves. Free her and dispel the curse for good. Okay, I guess we're in the second stage of method one. I guess there is a way to, um, you know, complete this task. I will maybe show you how to complete this task uh, in the second method in another video. So let's recruit some elves and uh, let's destroy the ruined shrine because destroying these ruined places will actually let your heroes learn some magic tricks. Okay, this. Warrior got killed by the Damon Wood, as expected, because it's it's just like such a powerful monster that it's so hard to even even kill it. Wow, the elf got killed by the Hell Bear. Elves and other heroes like the Rogues or the Rangers, you know, they're very weak when their level is low, but they could be strong heroes. Once they grow uh, stronger, once they once they level up. Okay, got killed again. <laughs> There's a gambling hall, so this gambling hall will automatically be built when you build a elven bungalow in your in your kingdom, uh, and you can uh, you can bet on the. You can bet in the gambling hall. Okay, let's just uh, try to bet on um, blue. And if we bet like hundred dollars, okay, blue, you won. You win two hundred gold. The the gold bet is really hard to get because uh, it's like twenty times in return, and you cannot. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing is that you cannot um, demolish the gambling hall. You see. Uh, does not pay taxes to the sovereign. Another of the vices associated with allowing elves to settle in your border is gambling. Strong ties to the rogues guild keep the gambling hall off limits to unduty tax collectors. Um, I don't know. I think this is like. I don't think this is a good building because. Your heroes are just going to gamble here and spend all of their money away, and you can't even collect taxes from the money they spend, which is, which is ridiculous.
Now that you have recovered his spell, but the wizard who cursed your kingdom demands that you perform adequate good deeds. Okay, same as usual. Okay, there are there is an elven lung that was built automatically after you build the elven bungalow. <coughs> I guess we can build another elven bungalow. Okay, so those heroes are going for the ruined keep, and of course the demon wood is gonna go and attack the heroes. So best of luck to them. Oh, this hero is actually trying to kill the. Damon Wood and it tragically died. Well, you can only recruit up to two elves in the elven bungalow. <coughs> okay, I think this elf is asking for its own death because a level 4 elf is nothing compared to a Damon Wood. We need to recruit more elves. If they gather together, then you know they can be very powerful sometimes. I mean, if they are shooting arrows, if four of them are shooting arrows at the same target, then they could be very powerful. Another function of the rogue's guild is that um, other heroes can put poison on their weapons when they go to the rogue's guild. They can put poison on their weapons, and uh, it could be very useful when they do that because they can poison their uh, targets when they attack them. So there are two gambling halls, and luckily none of our heroes are gambling. So let's let's use a market day function since. Um, Nobody is here anyways. Let's build one more Elven bungalow. I don't know, I just I'm just so into elves. Uh, if you want to build the same uh guilds and the second one and the ones after that will always be much more expensive. So I remember that the first one only cost like seven hundred dollars, but when you get to the fourth one, it costs like five thousand to build one. Okay, so let's recruit another hero because the warrior just died. And let's place some uh, reward flags on those uh, creature den because by destroying those uh, creature den. Uh, your heroes can gain money as well as uh, experience. Okay, let's recruit elves. Okay, let's recruit one more. Okay, so this graveyard will automatically appear when more than 14 of your heroes die, or more than uh, 12. Yeah, I think when your heroes, when a lot of your heroes have died, then they will have the graveyard, and the heroes who, who's, who have already died will have their names here, and the heroes who will die in the future, we'll also have their names here. Okay, so our heroes just killed a hell bear. And uh, right now, we need to find the werewolves and uh, kill the werewolves to so to make sure that uh, we complete the good deeds as required by the evil weapon evil uh, wizard so basically that wizard is uh, threatening to destroy our kingdom if we don't uh, follow his orders I guess if you if you're very tough you could kill the wizard 
as I said, I will do another video to show you how to kill the wizard. Okay, nobody is gambling. If my hero start to gamble, then okay, he just gambled. I will just destroy the gambling house. Because it's, it's of no use to me. Okay, the rogues are are attacking the gambling house. So let us find the 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 werewolves who have taken a civilian into custody, and then complete this quest. Has any of our elves died? Okay, two elves died. Three elves died actually. Yeah, I think level 5 elf can kill a giant rat without any problem. Shouldn't be, a, and shouldn't be of any difficulty to him. Let's place an attack flag here on the creature den. And you know, just to gain some uh, EXP for our heroes. In, in other uh, quests where you can actually, uh, you know, build some uh, temples. You can actually use these uh, spells to help your heroes. For example, you can use the cast healing spell. This will allow your hero to uh, regain HP. So this spell is very powerful one when you want to uh, preserve one of your heroes. For example, if your hero has already leveled up to like level 10 or level 11, and you don't want it to die when it's attacking like a very dangerous monster then you use this cast healing to prevent it from dying oh my god it just died again because the level 6 elf is nothing compared to a daemon wood i think this daemon wood can only be killed if um, five or six heroes gather together and attack it at the same time Okay, so let's put an attack flag on the werewolf. You have to kill these werewolves in order to complete the quest. Okay, I cannot put any attack flags because it's moving so so quickly. Okay, finally I got it. And let's also put an explorer flag here. Okay, none of our elves have died. That's a good thing. But our warriors have died in mass. Let's research the veteran guards. So after you research the veteran guards, your city guards will be replaced with veteran guards, which will, which will have higher HP and uh, uh, a stronger attacking power. So this caravan is carrying $304 worth of gold. So is any hero coming to hunt down these werewolves? <laughs> this elf is too scared of death because it's only level 1. So after some time you can, f you can see that your kingdom is actually very rich now. You actually have like $16,000 worth of gold. Okay, a gambling hall was built again, so whatever. It only takes money away from your hero. Let's upgrade it to level 3, just to see the gist of it, you know. Usually you can build some new, uh, new temples when you upgrade it to level 3. Because I don't think that in this quest you're not allowed to build any temples. You're only not allowed to build uh, four specific temples. So I think you can still build the temples that are eligible in level 3. Okay, see so you can build a temple to Helia and a temple to Lunord. Um, let's build this temple to Lunord. 
because the heroes that you recruit from Temple to Lunor uh, could move very fast and they will actually uh, act as guards to protect your kingdom so all the other heroes they are only worried about their own well-being they're only worried that uh, how much money they can earn or how much exp they can earn but uh, the, the heroes you recruit from the temple to lunar will actually allow you oh we're already victorious so basically our heroes have killed those werewolves so we already won the game and after you win the game you can um, continue to play or you can go to the main menu uh, basically if you continue to play then um, the game will just uh, continue but there won't be any new missions so we go to the main menu and uh, I will show you that uh, there are other beginner quests and uh, um, we can actually uh, you know we can actually uh, complete some other um, advanced quests I think to my opinion I think the easiest expert quest is the slay the mighty dragon that's that's why the quest is unlocked in the beginning because it's way easier to complete uh, the, this one is pretty hard the brash nards ultimate sphere of power this this one is very hard so in my next video i will show you how to uh, how to complete the wizard's curse quest by method two which is to kill the angry wizard so you don't have to complete all the all the bs as requested by by the wizard you can just uh, kill him and uh, i will also complete an expert quest by then um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.